What's up Chiefs Kingdom? No Gray here, tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Joss's channel and check out showmefootball.com for more. What is up Chiefs Kingdom? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Josh Fran of showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com covering your Kansas City Chiefs and I could not be happier to be sitting here right now and talking about the breaking news that the Kansas City Chiefs are signing Arizona Cardinals free agent wide receiver Hollywood Brown on a one-year deal worth up to $11 million. From Ian Rappaport of NFL Network, wide receiver Hollywood Brown is signing with the Chiefs Another high-octane target for Patrick Mahomes, one of the most talented wide receivers available, Brown lands in a perfect spot on a one-year deal worth up to $11 million with a chance to cash in next year. And the key word is up to $11 million, meaning this is probably going to have a lot of incentives in it. And this is a great value for the Kansas City Chiefs because if you guys have paid attention to the wide receiver market at all this offseason, um, wide receivers are getting paid. That's how the market has been for a few years now, and with the cap going up, um, that only emphasized that fact. Darnell Mooney, who was a guy that I had on my list, he got three years, $38 million. You guys saw what Calvin Ridley got yesterday. Just insane amounts of money being thrown around. So to get Marquise Brown on a one-year deal worth up to $11 million, I mean, that's just a steal for what I consider to be a pretty good player. And if you guys remember my wide receiver free agents video that I made a couple weeks ago previewing the free agent wide receivers and a couple guys that I thought the Chiefs could go after Hollywood Brown was mentioned in that video and it's because he's a really good fit in Kansas City but before I get into that and before I just let out all my thoughts on the Hollywood Brown signing let's talk about what brought us to this point because a lot of us including myself on Twitter were getting desperate after wide receivers were starting to come off the board over the last couple of days including Curtis Samuel who was another guy that I liked he went to the Bills for 3 years 30 million dollars and once that happened I was like all right no we're down to only a couple guys that would make me happy um that was Marquise Brown and like Tyler Boyd and it was like everything after that it feels like he kind of botched the free agency period at wide receiver because there were other guys like KJ Osborne or Josh Reynolds or whoever, but I just wasn't doing backflips for any of those guys, you know? Hollywood Brown, I absolutely can get on board with, but yeah, it, it was getting scary there for a minute, and of course, everyone's saying, relax, you know, we got to see what happens. Even if they don't get a free agent wide receiver, you still have to draft them. Like, no, the Chiefs need a veteran wide receiver. They absolutely 100% needed a veteran wide receiver someone that could raise the floor of the wide receiver room because last year the floor bottomed out with this wide receiver group it was the worst wide receiver room in the league and so you needed a solid veteran that could come in who you know what they are you know that they can get you at least five or six hundred yards receiving uh, Hollywood Brown is certainly in that category you know exactly what you can get out of him and in fact I actually think that his ceiling is quite high in Kansas City as well as having a high floor but we'll get into that in a minute it was very important that the Chiefs grabbed a veteran wide receiver in free agency you don't want to bank on the draft you don't want a rookie draft pick to be plan a at wide receiver because as deep as this wide receiver class is and as many guys as I like you don't know what you're going to get in the draft and the draft is a little bit of a dart throw sure the Chiefs are confident in their evaluations and that's great they should be but they've been wrong several times before at the wide receiver position and sure you can end up with another Rasheed Rice and that would be cool but you can also end up with another Sky Moore and you can end up banking on the development of a rookie throughout the season and I just don't think that's a smart thing to do because that's what we did with Rasheed Rice last year an unfair amount of the load on offense was put onto Rasheed Rice as a rookie and we needed him to develop throughout the season we needed him to emerge as that number one guy in the receiver room because we had nobody else and then of course Travis Kelsey is getting older and you needed someone that could take the pressure off of him a little bit and I just didn't want to do what we did last year where Rasheed Rice is the only reliable receiver we have and then we're bringing along another rookie and we don't know what they're gonna do or what they're gonna look like throughout the season so this was a fantastic signing when you consider how big of a need wide receiver was 
Marquise Brown isn't a superstar. He's not someone that I would call a wide receiver one, but you know what he is? He's a freaking solid veteran that raises the floor of this room and it just makes you feel a lot better. And he also doesn't preclude you from drafting another receiver in this upcoming draft, especially since it's only a one-year deal. You're not going to have him under contract next year. So you're the Chiefs are almost assuredly drafting another receiver in this upcoming NFL draft because wide receiver is still a position that needs long-term solutions. And you want to be bringing in a guy from this draft, not only because the class is very deep and it's a great time to grab a receiver, but you want to keep stockpiling weapons from Mahomes to make sure what happened last year never happens again. And we're starting to transition into the twilight of Travis Kelsey's career. So you're going to have to find other guys that the offense can lean on when the day comes that Travis Kelsey is no longer there and you just need guys under contract for the future. Otherwise we're going to be right back in this position next off season when Hollywood is a free agent. And then you're going to have to sign another free agent again. And then you're going to have to probably draft a receiver. Like it's just better now if you keep stockpiling talent at receiver through the NFL draft. But I'll tell you what, guys, I really do like the fact that this was just a one-year deal, and I also think that it eases a lot of the concerns that people had about Hollywood Brown, because I got some pushback in that video I did when I suggested Hollywood Brown. A lot of people talked about the fact that his speed isn't the same as it once was, which I can't really attest to that. Um, I never thought his speed was as good as what it was in the NFL Combine when he was coming out, but he definitely is a fast receiver. But the thing is, you're only paying him for one year. You're not paying him three or four years from now. So you don't really have to care about whether or not he's slowing down or not. This is a Band-Aid fix for one year for a position group that really needed the injection of talent. I've also seen a lot of people say, oh, he's no more different than McCole Hardman. This is just McCole Hardman, but more expensive. Wrong. When has McCole Hardman ever had a 90 catch season for over a thousand yards? He hasn't, okay? Hollywood Brown has. And also, people are going to look at his numbers from Arizona over the past couple years and go, meh, but think about the different awful quarterbacks that he's played with. You know, he got Kyler Murray for about half a season there, and I'm not really that high on Kyler Murray to begin with. He played with Colt McCoy, Josh Dobbs, Trace McSorley, just a disaster of a QB situation in Arizona, but over 26 games in Arizona, Marquise Brown had 118 catches for 1,283 yards and seven touchdowns. You will take that all day as a Chiefs fan. The other negative that I hear about Hollywood Brown constantly that I will 100% push back on is that he has a drops issue. Yeah, a couple years in Baltimore, he had a little bit of a higher drop rate, but last year he only had three drops in 94 targets. In 2022, he only had three drops in 103 targets. And here's the other thing. The season in which he had the most drops, 2021, he was targeted 139 times. When you're targeted more as a wide receiver, you're just going to have more drops. I think the drops issue with Marquise Brown is wildly overstated. His drop rate last year was lower than Kadarius Tony's, was lower than MVS's. Hell, it was lower than Travis Kelsey's. Travis Kelsey had a higher drop rate last year than Hollywood Brown. Hollywood Brown is a good football player. He's a good receiver, and he's exactly what the Chiefs needed. I don't think there's any reason to be worried about any drops problems or Hollywood Brown being a McCall Hardman 2.0 because I think those two concerns are overstated. And I also think, quite frankly, they're not true. They're not accurate. And even if they were true, guess what? You're only putting up with it for one year. And he's coming in here to fix a problem in the short term that I'm sure the Chiefs will get fixed in the long term in the NFL draft. And hey, if Hollywood works out here really well, maybe he gets extended next year. We'll see. But it's only a one-year deal, guys. There's no reason to be upset by it. And what I love most about this Hollywood Brown signing is that he brings the deep ball back to an offense that really struggled last year. Uh, This wide receiver room did not have any sort of deep threat in it. And MVS was supposed to be the deep threat, but he, he could never catch the ball. We saw Mahomes have the lowest yards per attempt in his career to this point. And I think that's a direct reflection of the wide receiver play and how those guys couldn't beat man coverage. And Marquise Brown isn't necessarily this man beating wide receiver. He he's better against zone, but 
he brings the deep ball back. Like I said, the Chiefs didn't have the deep ball last year. And he's also really good in the intermediate level of the field. He's really good at those in-breaking routes. He can take advantage of that. He can get open at all three levels of the defense. That's something that Rasheed Rice can't quite do yet. Travis Kelsey, like I said, is getting older, so you need to bring someone in that the offense could lean on a little bit. You can definitely do that with Marquise Brown because he's a threat to take the top off the defense, and that just opens up so many things for this offense again, whereas last year, defenses weren't really scared of anybody on the Chiefs beating them deep. And I mentioned this in the receiver video that I did for free agency, but the Kansas City Chiefs have been trying to get away from that small, shiftier, fast guy kind of mold that they had with Tyreek Hill ever since they traded him, and they tried bringing in bigger receivers, taller receivers like MVS and Juju, and sure, you know, you, you experimented with those guys. You were able to win a Super Bowl. But Andy couldn't help himself with the faster guys, the gadget guys. They brought back McCole Hardman because they felt like they missed that. They tried it with Sky Moore. They did a lot of that stuff with Rasheed Rice. It was time to introduce the small, fast, shifty guy to this offense. This offense missed it, okay? As much as they don't want to admit it, they did. Marquise Brown is the closest thing to Tyreek Hill that the Kansas City Chiefs will have had to Tyreek Hill since he left the team. And I'll say it one last time, it doesn't preclude the Chiefs from drafting a receiver in the NFL draft. And I also don't think it precludes them from adding another veteran receiver if they want to, <coughs> Mike Williams. But we'll talk about that. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, if we get there, if the Chiefs were to sign Mike Williams or something like that. But yeah, guys, those are my overall thoughts on the Kansas City Chiefs signing free agent wide receiver Hollywood Brown. I'm absolutely pumped about this signing. I think it's a perfect fit and it just made too much sense, especially when all the other wide receivers were coming off the board. The one guy that you looked at and said, you know what, the Chiefs just need to go out and sign him. It was Marquise Brown. So those are my thoughts, but I want to hear from you guys down in the comments what your thoughts are on the Marquise Brown signing. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe so more Chiefs fans can find this and make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com for more. I'll see you all in the next one. Go Chiefs!